Then the main event, main event of the the bare knuckles, which is something I was excited for. Houston Alexander and uh, Smith, right? Jeremy Smith. Houston Alexander has always been a guy that has big knockout power. His chin's not bad, but he is one of those guys. It's just like he's going to knock you out or he's going to get knocked out. So you knew, you, well, at least we thought something was going to happen in this fight. Somebody's going to get knocked out. But Alexander was a, a superior striker in this fight. He was cleaner, more precise. His defense was better. He looked more like a boxer. Smith threw a, he was a hooker, man. He would just hook and hook and hook. He wasn't landing much up top. You know, I thought Houston was going to get a finish uh, here. I thought he was going to get the knockout because he was landing good shots, good clean shots. Wasn't taking a ton of damage, but Smith was sneaking in those those big body shots because he wasn't able to hit much over the top here. Houston Alexander did a great job of avoiding a lot of the danger from the, from the punches to the head. But when uh, Smith went to the body, he was landing good shots to the body, and that definitely caught up to Alexander because he slowed down significantly significantly in the in the fourth and fifth round and i thought we might have saw a come from behind uh win for smith here because if he just would have put one of those body shots to an uppercut mike tyson style that i think that fight would have been over because houston was sucking enough air and slowed down enough where he could have snuck something but i don't know if smith had enough technical ability to, to do that because it seemed like he only had four punches and those were some powerful punches don't get me wrong. Like he could probably crush most people with those punches. But if you've only got four punches, it becomes easier to avoid those four shots. Even though still, Houston was still getting hit with big body shots. He's getting dug. He was getting dug out of the body hard. And I could I could feel it a little bit. It made my stomach hurt. It made me breathe a little heavy. <sighs> Started to wheeze a little bit <sighs> when I was watching it. But I was just like, he was teetering. He was teetering on the edge. And, and Smith just could not find that mark. He could not find that mark in the last... Last couple rounds, he did a lot of great work in there, but he wasn't able to pull it off. We had uh, Alexander went in 48, 46, 48, 46, and 48, 47 on the three uh, cards. Not upset with those in any way. It was a good fight. It was a fun fight. Yeah, man. If maybe if Smith would have started ha fighting harder earlier, maybe he would have pulled that off. But Alexander got the win. He got the got the W, making things happen. That's the bare knuckles. It's the bare knuckles. Do you guys watch much of the bare knuckles? Hamza Amir chiming in saying that uh, Houston Alexander was made for bare knuckles. There's some guys that are are kind of more more made for it, right? Because they're not not exactly slick enough and technically slick enough to box. You know, they're not technically slick enough to box, so they're gonna have a hard time with the boxers, the good boxers, the bigger boxers. You know, especially like Alexander, but. Bare knuckles different <clears throat> because you got you got guys get knocked out with the jab, one punch, one punch jab to the face. No, nope, they're done. You know they don't they don't like that. It doesn't feel good. Uh, like you've talked about before, you know those those two knuckles in the bone. That's like getting hit with a, a ball peen hammer. No no fun, no fun. Yeah, certain guys they're not going to be clean enough to fight the boxing stuff because the prima donnas that are protected by the gloves are going to out out point them, out slick them. But when you take those <laughs> gloves off, it evens that it evens things up a lot. It evens things up a lot. You know, I'd like to see a lot of top boxers. I'd like to see what I'd like to see what uh, I know they're retired, but like um, fought Randy Tour Tony, Tony, what something like that, what well, something like that. You know, doing the shoulder rolls, what that, what that, something like that would be like in bare knuckles. I think he would probably do pretty well though, actually, because he's kind of he's kind of one of those guys. He's kind of one of those guys. I think that could uh, could handle it. And then you get. Put him in, you know, then you put Houston Alexander in, in MMA and he's got great power and, you know, the smaller gloves suit him much better than the boxing gloves. He's able to do pretty well, but he still, he doesn't have the wrestling ability to really flourish, you know, and you're right. <laughs> Bare Knuckles is probably the best possible match for him. He doesn't have to worry about getting good at wrestling later in life, you know, because he didn't start early. And then he's got the grit. He's got the grit to fight without the gloves on. He can take, you not have to have the, the 10 ounce gloves to have the wraps and the protection and just go to work. You know, this is crazy too. Vanguard saying, um, it's remarkable that Houston Alexander is 50 years old looking like that. It looks pretty good, man. It doesn't look bad. I mean, he's got, he's got a point where he's starting to get the old looking skin, but it still moves really well. You know, he's got five years on me, man. Come on, BAKFC, make an offer. Make an offer. <laughs> make an offer. I'm walking at 220 right now. 
Anakin in the house saying, uh, I want more UFC fighters in BKFC. That's the guy. James Tony. Why am I saying? I was saying his last name like a first name. That's why I couldn't remember the last name. It's James Tony. Yep. I misplace things sometimes in my brain. James Tony. I would love to see a James Tony caliber boxer jump into the bare knuckle circle. I would really like to see that. You know, I think somebody, James Tony back in the day, you know, he's old now. Okay. Whatever. We old. Father Time is the champ. We all know that. But if if he would have been, you know, at least 35, when he fought Randy Couture, if he was that age and he would have fought bare knuckles, I would have I would have been interesting, man. That would have been very interesting. Way more than the Randy Couture fight. That was just stupid. That was dumb. That was dumb. I'm going to give him a lot, uh, uh, side leg check kick. Anakin says, uh, I think karate combat is decent. Could be better, but it's okay. Oh, wow. Houston Alexander is 53. Wow, guys. What are you guys doing out there, man? What are you guys doing out there? I mean, Houston Alexander's out here fighting people half his age in his underwear, bare knuckles. What are you doing? What's your excuse? Herschel Walker, he fought for the first time in his late 40s, 50 years old. Some of you guys, man, you can't even do a full week of workouts. Come on, bros. Come on. Age is not an excuse. It's not. When I was in grade school on the junior high wrestling team, <laughs> when I took a bus over to the other school so I could go and practice, that was one of the uh, sayings they came up with for their shirt was youth is no excuse because they had a young team. They had a young team. They were all uh, underclassmen. They're all like seventh graders or something for some reason. Uh, they just didn't have the older kids come out. So they had the shirts. That was their saying. Youth is no excuse. It's not an excuse. Coach nipped that in the bud. Oh, well, we're only seventh graders. And at the time, I think it was uh, the junior high was seventh, eighth, and ninth graders, though. They changed that by the time I got to junior high. So it was all like seven seventh graders and a couple eighth graders on the team, I think. But the coach was like, yeah, you're not, you don't get to make an excuse. Youth is not an excuse. And that saying fit for the rest of the team because I was a fourth grader, fifth grader, sixth grader, taking a bus from a different school over to that junior high so that I could wrestle. And our coach would lie about how old we were so that we could compete. So I was, I was a fourth grader and I would compete against eighth graders. They're my weight, but they were, they were, yeah, four years older than me. I'm damn glad I did it. <laughs> I'm, dad, I'm damn glad I did it. Damn glad. Houston Alexander got the win, of course. Be interesting to see what happens next. Is he is he up for a possible title contention soon, or is he a weight class below those guys? You know, because he I, I wouldn't think he's too much bigger than or smaller than Alan Belcher and Rothwell running around at 280 is there too. So are those potential fights that might happen for him? Do not know.